Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the legendary Firehouse Saloon, Dulce Vida Tequila, Organic Tequila Studio. This is Badlands Radio. I'm Hank T. Moon. Y'all, y'all holler a little bit for Jason Lee McKinney, man. Y'all live out there? Is this thing on? All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. I'd like to welcome him, my good buddy Rob Beard. Rob, what's up, buddy? Hank, uh, I always love being on the interviews. Really? You're my favorite. Really? We've had, we've really had some incredible milestones, as I always like to play. Well, you know, man, hey, interview, talking to you, I'm honored to have you in here. Thank you. Right before you go on stage. Yes, this sir. is pretty cool, right? No, this, I've never done something like this before. See? That's I what know. Sean made say. That's my, uh, I, I jumped, I, right. I, we had this whole script about that. Right. Me and Rob ended up with a stripper in Mexico, <laughs> and we couldn't remember her name. Her name was... Charlemagne. Charlemagne. I've never been to Mexico with you, but in, in that dream. Charlemagne was. Right. Charlemagne was there. Oh, man. I can't believe I remember that name. We were definitely breaking new ground that night as well. Continuing. What's been up, Robert? Man, I'm in the studio, which has been fun. Okay. Uh, making some records with, uh, with some friends, which is fun. Friends. And um, been on the road. I went on a tour through Ohio. I went to Ohio. Yeah. Um, Ohio's good. Yeah, it's cool. I like Texas better. Yeah. Um, what else has been going on? It's been busy, man. Friends, and, friends working on a record, names. Um, you know me, I'm a name drop. Yeah, there's no out there. Yeah, there's just a few stuff we've been working on, but I remember the guy named Ben Kitterman, who uh, is a good friend of mine, and he helped me produce the latest stuff. He's got some really fun guys um, on the record, so that's okay. good. And yeah, man. It's good to be back in the studio. Where are you recording that? Out in the hill country. Yeah. Right outside of Austin, this little studio called Austin Signal. Okay. Um, which is fantastic. And it's been, we're out there cooking every day. We've got a house in the pool. I mean, we're living the dream. That's got to help, man, with the work, right? I mean, you know, keep a clear head. Got to keep a clear head, man. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we cut six songs, we cut another six, and uh, get that thing out there. Be good. All right. So we're putting this on YouTube for the world. Oh, perfect. The Firehouse Saloon YouTube channel. All of you folks who come to the Firehouse Saloon, always check it out. The YouTube channel, Firehouse Saloon. So Charlemagne, we'll see this. I can't with my dad. will be like, who is Charlemagne? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, uh, I'll explain that to you. Uh, Charlemagne's <laughs> making a trip to the hill yeah, country. There you go. Um, yeah, man. It's been a really good year, though. I feel like uh, I think I've been in this business for seven years now. So. Seven's getting kind of long. <laughs> it's still here, you know? That's good, man. It's called longevity, which yeah. Charlemagne likes. Um, one thing I love about Rob Baird music, man, is I never get to, you know, you don't really write hooks, but you do have hooks, and I never get tired of a song. Exactly. Every time I write, yeah, I, don't, I don't care how many tunes we, we play, what, 20 of them? We play them all. We play them all. But it's just like, I can always go from the very start to the very finish of a Rob Beard tune. Man. Thanks, man. I'm sure you don't. I, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm sure you don't sit down, man, and plan it that way. But is that free flow? Is that to create? You know? I mean, you you have to be feeling it in order to present that. I, I, my standards are getting annoyingly high. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hard on myself, man. I, I want to be able to play a song uh, like a year from now and be still into it. But it, it's not very much fun when you're like, well, that was cool for a while. But you want to, you know, songwriting, you want to somehow create some type of element that lasts when you play them. I mean, I have to go play these songs every, you know, 100, 90, yes. it depends on what we're doing each year. But you got to play them and you really want to, you know, like what you're doing and yeah. enjoy the song. So... I've had some great people I've written songs with too, and that helps. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, my my friend, you definitely the element that makes the song last. You've nailed it. Oh, well, thank you, you keep your standards ridiculously high. <laughs> yeah, I man. I feel like sometimes I'm sitting back there writing a song at like midnight. Like, is this good enough? Well, the ones that don't reach your standard, man. What is it? Just like ah. I know they all they kind of ended up on Dingo Demo, some of them in Nashville, and, and then the other people were like, oh, well, that's cool. And I'm like, okay, well. That was my, that was my, my producer of some songs the other day. He's like, why have you not sent these to me? And I was like, oh, 
know. I don't know. This is the best answer I've ever heard of that question. Rob Bear, give them all that website stuff where you can stay, brother. Uh, <laughs> RobBearMusic.com and Twitter, RobBearMusic and Instagram. I've had some interesting Instagram endeavors lately that have been fun. Um, I had to meet Chuck Norris this week, which was like a highlight for me as I watched every episode of Walker, Texas Stranger. Yeah. Um, he didn't. He didn't threaten me with his Chuck Norris. I was gonna say, man. But he's 74. Okay. Chuck know. Norris can be 74. He can. He told me he was gonna control the border problem. <laughs> okay. By himself. By himself. One guy. One guy. Chuck Norris can do that. Yeah, I know. It was unbelievable. So. I'm yeah. sure me was all about Chuck Norris. I've heard that. On the Charlemagne show, well, in this, buddy, you ready to hit the stage? I am, man. The legendary firehouse. Oh, wait, by the way, y'all, while we were talking, Dulce Vita organic tequila was four bucks. Hopefully, your bartenders, because I screwed it up. Mm -hmm. We'll extend that a little bit when Rob hits the stage. It's Billy Gibbons tequila, right? Mm -hmm. That's the tequila he endorses, right? Billy Gibbons from Ben ZZ Top? It is the ZZ Top tequila. Yes, sir. It is. That is right here in Houston, right see, where they're from. See, I'm, yeah. I'm the HT Moon endorsement, so yeah. I'm kind of like going to ZZ1. Uh -huh. ZZ, well, that'd be a good day for a bit. <laughs> Dulce Vita, organic tequila, $4 right now while Rob and I are still talking. Buddy, thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, because, only because I'm an asshole, we could we be looking for the new record. That'll probably be March. New stuff tonight? Yes, sir. All right, it's Rob Barry, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all ready for this guy? I think they are, my friend. I think they are. Live from the Firehouse Saloon of Dulce Vita Tequila Studio, this is Badlands Radio. My friend? Yes, sir. You're a badass. You're a badass. You know what Charlamagne did? What she did. She set our standards really low. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>